Gary needed a very act for the workshop, there are plenty on eBay and Amazon, but he also wanted the isolation transformer built in, so it was time to start thinking of building a custom unit. This is an old pat tester made by Claire, it's not working, but the case will be perfect for the bench supply. Once all the internals have been stripped out, it was clear this case will be spot on, it will just need a new front panel making. A new isolation transformer was ordered from Amazon, it's a 500 VA, with four separate taps, ideal for this project. So, a quick look at how all the parts are going to fit in the case, the layout will probably change before it's finished. We won't bother showing the cutting and drilling of the panel, trust me, it was not that exciting, but with the fake carbon sticker now all trimmed, it is time for some assembly. Time to concentrate on the PCB, this will need to control all the relays, and the timers for the soft start and overload protection. A foam pad and plastic mounting posts are used to isolate the PCB from the gear tray. Another quick layout check. Now the front panel has some components mounted, and then it's time to start wiring. This is a small voltage regulator, and divider for the PCB, and panel meters. The panel meters have been modified so they work down to 0 volts. Originally, they would need around 60 volts before they come on. The meters are from Amazon, and come in several different versions. Checking that the output matches the meter. done, just the tight fitting cover to bolt on, then a full test.
now he takes pride off place on the bench, ready for its first job.